Alex Michaelides, author analysis and future book idea. Alex Michaelides has written three books, including uh, The Fury, which came out a couple weeks ago, and I've read all three of them and reviewed all three of them recently, and so I thought I would do this video to talk about what the common themes are and what the typical patterns are for this writer. I think if you write multiple books, you're bound to have a common style, common themes, and so I think it's interesting to look at a writer and figure out what those things are. So I want to use all of that to construct a possible future Alex Michaelides book. So here is my list of things that have to be incorporated somewhere in the book. Number one, it has to be heavily psychological. Uh, I think a common theme in these books, and probably the biggest theme, is that the human mind has a deep, dark, unconscious side, and it's like a monster hiding in a big, scary cave. And then you have modern psychiatry as a guy with a torch and a pitchfork that's going to charge in there and, and take the monster down. Uh, but you do get a sense of hopelessness, like psychiatry isn't going to win at the end of the book. It's, it's going to be a question of this dark subconscious side that's, in, uh, that's with all of us. Number two, psychiatrists and psychiatry are main tools in developing character. I think this is the world that Alex Michaelides knows well, and so he uses that in, uh, I think effectively uses that in developing his plot and his characters. Number three, going along with the idea of psychological darkness, the main character has a troubled past. Number four, the narration style is very connected to the main character's thoughts and feelings, even though there's always some degree of unreliability in the main character narrator. Number five, infidelity always plays a major role in the story. Do you really know your spouse? What is a good relationship supposed to look like? Something about relationships going wrong. Number six, starting with a captivating hook, except in The Fury, which I talk about more in that video. Number seven, Greek mythology. The murders committed have to be connected to Greek mythology in some way. There has to be a Greek language connected, and there has to be a subtext of Greek histories, Greek mythology, uh, speaking to situations in our day uh, still having relevance. So how would you write an Alex Michaelides story, given these seven elements? Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. Because the main characters are usually psychiatrists, let's go with that. You have a main character who is uh, a woman and a psychiatrist, and she has a patient who is wealthy and famous. And this wealthy, famous patient of hers has, is disturbed by a murder of someone that he knew pretty well, and this murder victim was stabbed with a sword, and the, at the, this gruesome crime scene, there was some element of, of fire and uh, some message that says, remember me in Greek. Now the woman psychiatrist is familiar with an old story in Greek mythology about a woman who killed herself with a sword and then burned herself and her possessions uh, uh, at the top of an island. And so her former lover could see this fire as he's sailing away and he would know what the fire meant. Now I'm kind of cheating because I'm talking about Virgil and it's in Latin, so it doesn't quite work, but I don't know Greek mythology that well. Um, but the story is perfect for an Alex Michaelides novel. So the details of the case also gives this woman psychiatrist flash flashbacks to her own troubled past where she had someone who was infatuated with her and he ended up killing himself in some bizarre circumstances. So we're kind of running parallel stories between her patient and her past. So the story moves along through this web of characters and we're picking up clues and we're having many revelations as we go along and more murders happen and they get closer and closer to this main patient, this famous wealthy guy, and the reader is trying to guess who it is that's killing all these people uh, because you get the idea that he jilted someone in the past and this is their slow burn form of a revenge. And in the end, it turns out it was someone that you would never expect that has something to do with the main psychiatrist lady's backstory that we've been following the whole time. And it all ties itself together in the end. So there you have it. That's my guess for his next book. We'll see what he writes next. Uh, I'm excited. I'll do a review of it as soon as it comes out. 
Really though, as an author, I think Alex Michaelides is very interesting and that's why I reviewed the three books he's come out with so far. I'm excited to see what he does next.